One of the features every online store should have is some way to capture a visitor's email address. Why do we need their email address? Is most of the time purchases aren't actually happening on the first session, meaning people get distracted, maybe they, we don't have the product that they're look, currently looking for, so we just wanna have some way to reach them again so our marketing spend isn't lost, or maybe we have some great ranking right now on Google, and uh, we just wanna capture the lead and potentially in the future Maybe we're adding something they were looking for and that we can actually make a customer out of our visitor. So in order to do this, there is the Shopify default is just having a bar at the bottom saying subscribe to a newsletter or something. But uh, the most common that you've probably seen is the current one that I'm presenting here. And that's just having a pop-up saying, if you give us our email, you will get a discount on your entire order. There's uh, multiple ways to do this, but I'm actually gonna show you in what in my opinion is the easiest one and also the most cost effective one because it's a free app uh, and this is how it would look like we have this pop-up and when someone enters the email and we click claim discount you can edit all of this on the back end if you want to change these things but if someone were to click claim discount they will then be presented with a new discount every time we can either use our own or auto generate one and uh, and it will work only once they can't come back and claim it again so let's take a look how this works for this, we want to go back to our online store, and uh, this is just a regular app. So I'm just going to type ecom send, and uh, you can probably just search for uh, for newsletter too. But if you search for ecom send, then you see this app. You click on it. Let's install it. What I love about this app, it has this fantastic free tier, where uh, we basically never have to pay for it unless you just want to remove the branding underneath and you don't want it, want it to send this is sponsored or powered by Ecom brand. Uh, but for our case, let's just use it as it is. The first thing we always wanted to do if we use an app like this, we go to the online store, click on customize for the theme that we're using. And then on the side here where we have the app embeds, we click on it and perfect, it's already activated. If you don't see this, you want to activate the app first, make sure the toggle is set um, and then we can actually start editing it. Let's select the app. Let's go to pop-ups. We have the opt-in pop-up. I'm just gonna delete this one so we can create a new one. This is the one that I just demoed. So this is probably what you're seeing right now. You wanna click on create pop-up because we wanna have an email pop-up. The two options that we have, we have one with a spinning wheel where uh, it's just actually gonna automatically, automatically create the discount code. So if someone gets lucky and they get maybe a 15% discount code as we can see here, then uh, the app automatically generates this discount. I would usually always go with the basic one. So this is what's pre-selected. And as you can see, everything's already pre-filled. I'm gonna quickly just show you some of the settings. Uh, you actually don't have to change anything here. But um, if you, for example, say you wanna use your own discount code, then here in the discount code section under rules, you, uh, the default setting is it's actually gonna be auto-generated. But if you say, I actually want to use my own, you just select enter Shopify discount manually. And then you have the option to basically give it any discount code that you created previously. In our case, we say just discount code. And then you can already see it's going to auto generate a unique and non reusable code for each subscription, meaning that uh, it's always going to be tracked by email. So um, if I enter my email and I get a discount code, if I were to enter my email again, I'm actually not going to get a new discount code because my email is already registered, the tool knows it, I don't have to do anything else. This is pretty much all we have to do. If we, this is how, the, how it's going to look, we can also take a look at the success status up here. And then if we click on content up here, we can actually start making changes to the text. But um, I like how it looks. And uh, it's unpublished. Let's make sure we have everything set. Yep, everything looks good. We don't want, they have a sticky bar too. You can keep everything as is, disabled. Now let's click publish. And let's preview it. And this is it, this is where we get. I'm gonna enter a, I'm gonna enter France email, because I already subscribed. Say claim discount. And this is it, discount unlocked. We get the discount code. We have this nice button. We can copy the code now. And if we click shop now, we should be presented with the homepage or it's basically just gonna dismiss it. Perfect. 
And that's how you capture an email. We can now go back actually to the site. And if we take a look at our customers, now we can see it. Fran at Effortless Ecom now subscribe. So this is how we just capture the emails. And now we can always send messages to Fran, or in this case, to me, whoever subscribed uh, with our email automations.